for me as a scientist, it's about the accumulation of knowledge and contributing uh, to our society's knowledge of, of how the world works. We take inspiration from various processes in the natural world around us, so they can include things like social systems and swarming systems, so social insects and, and so on. Um, so what's really interesting about um, those uh, social, that type of social behaviour and swarming behaviour is that the individuals that make up the swarm are following very simple rules and you can almost imagine that those rules have actually been programmed through a process of evolution over generations and generations. So they're almost like instinctual behaviors. Um, they're trying to match, say, the speed of, of their neighbors. They're trying to avoid coll colliding with their neighbors. In one sense, we look at swarming behavior as a search process that we can use to search for interesting, smart software, so smart computer programs. In addressing that question, um, there are a number of, of, of uh, technologies that can spin out from that in real time, as it were, that can impact society now. There's impact within a scientific community in terms of the acquisition and contribution of knowledge to that community. Um, when you're undertaking interdisciplinary research, that contribution can actually spread across a, a number of fields. We see this process of evolution as being the ultimate adaptive system, the, adaptive, the ultimate adaptive process. So if we can capture the essence of what makes that process work within a computer, then we can create the ultimate adaptive computer software systems. Mm -hmm.